This may be the most important update for AMC and guys you definitely want to pay attention closely if you own shares in AMC. Before I start, show your support for AMC by smashing that like button, I really would appreciate it. Also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. This video is sponsored by Boosh Food which I will go over later in this video and trust me you definitely want to stay tuned for this as well. Now let's get right into it. So it was recently revealed that JP Morgan holds over 1.2 million shares of AMC at $33.45 and Bank of Montreal holds over $1.1 million worth of AMC shares at over $33. Guys, that is insane. So think about it, guys. Why would one of the biggest banks hold over 1.2 million shares of AMC? Well, in my opinion, I think they may be preparing for something a lot of the community has been expecting, and that is the AMC short squeeze. Personally, knowing that major banks and institutions are holding millions of shares of AMC makes me confident that the squeeze is still on track to actually take place. Now, I know we saw AMC shoot back down after hitting $50 per share, but I believe this was largely a controlled drop using dark pool trading. So if you are holding AMC stock, my message is to continue to do your own research and don't panic due to so-called price volatility because I believe causing a panic sell-off is what they are trying to have the retail community do. Now, obviously, you want to do what is best for you. This is not financial advice. I'm personally going to be holding my share strong. Now, going into this week, I am pretty predicting AMC stock to rally back up toward the $45 level per share. Now do me a favor guys and drop a comment. Do you still think the short squeeze for AMC will happen? With that said, smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. I really would appreciate it. Before we conclude, this video was sponsored on behalf of Boosh plant-based brands. This company trades in the OTC markets under ticker symbol VGGIF and on the CSE under ticker symbol VEGI. The reason I'm excited to bring this company to your attention is because they actually have the potential to become the biggest and most successful plant-based food brands in my opinion before we get into this keep in mind this is not financial advice and just for education and entertainment purposes be sure to do your own due diligence prior to making any type of investment decisions so boost plant-based brands is the gateway to experiencing high quality gluten-free 100 plant-based nutritional comfort foods for the whole family the company currently offers six frozen meals which are sold throughout canada and are expanding their meals to include three refrigerated products. They recently announced their expansion into the United States on June 15th of this year, which shows how quickly they are growing. In only a short time span of 18 months, the company has been able to establish distribution to over 375 plus notable retailers such as Whole Foods, Safeway, Metro, Nestor's Market, and many more. Guys, that is absolutely insane in my opinion. Furthermore, they have already placed six nutritionally balanced frozen plant-based meals on the shelves and they introduced three tasty plant-based heat and eats refrigerated meals in july of this year now guys what really has me excited about the company is that boosh has a branding and supply alliance with beyond meat currently beyond meat is used in two boosh entries guys beyond meat is one of the biggest producers of plant-based meat substitute products and the fact that they have formed an alliance with boosh has me very confident for the company's future now let's go over their products and then i will do a comparison against some of their closest competitors. So let's start with the Boosh Bowl for One product line, which includes the veggie bolognese, which is made with savory tomato sauce, mushrooms, basil, brown rice pasta, and beyond meat, beyond beef crumbles. Next, they have the mac and cheese and peas, which is made with creamy dairy-free maza and cream cheese, brown rice pasta, plus a hearty sprinkle of peas. Next, they have the coconut curry collie, a combination of roasted cauliflower and chickpeas with creamy coconut curry sauce. And finally, they have the Mexican Fiesta, which is made with roasted butternut squash, peppers, black beans, and corn. This Fiesta Bowl is a bona fide celebration of flavors and textures. Next, they have the product line called Boosh Entries for Two. This includes the Rustic Veggie Pot Pie, which is made with mushrooms, sweet potatoes, broccoli, peas, and corn. This pie only gets better by being drenched in savory mushroom gravy and topped with a golden gluten-free pastry crust. Next, they have the Hardy Shepherd's Pie, which is made with loads of veggies beyond meat, beyond beef, crumbles, a delectable mushroom gravy and top with garlic mash, russet and sweet potatoes. Finally guys they have a product line called Boosh Pouches which includes chili, good gravy and sloppy joes. Now what I really like about this company is how it compares against some of its closest competitors. So as you can see from the chart, Boosh is 100% vegan, 100% gluten free composed dish, Canadian company and a family size portions and it's also non-GMO. Also the SRP is very good as the bowls only cost 6 
$6.99 and the entries are $13.99 and the pouches are $10.99. So as you see from the chart, they are really outpacing some of their closest competitors and I think they will continue to grow and dominate in my opinion. Now let's go over a few people from their exceptional management and leadership team because I believe a company is only as good as the leaders that are in charge. Starting with Connie Marples, who is the founder, director, and president of Boosh Plant Based Brands Inc. So Connie is a seasoned executive and entrepreneur with an emphasis in the food and beverage industry. So Connie has held several senior management positions in sales, promotions, marketing, and fine dining. In 2003, Connie opened Wintropolis, a Vancouver based wine bar and bistro VQA wine store. And in 2005, Wintropolis received the coveted position of being on the list of Condé Nast Traveler's best new restaurants in the world. Guys, that is insane, okay? Connie also launched Okanagan Experience, which is an entertainment style fundraising coupon book in Kilovna, which was later sold to Entertainment Book. As a sales representative, Connie helped launch the New York Seltzer, oversaw corporate travel accounts such as the Vancouver Canucks, as well as managed grocery vendor programs and promotional departments at numerous large grocery retailers and radio stations. In fall of 2020, Connie won the 2020 BC Food and Beverage Rising Star Award for her development and expansion of Boost Food. Guys, that is huge, okay? She has expanded Boost Food into a nationally recognized plant-based brand in Canada, where Boost can be found in over 150 food retail stores and independent grocers. Next person I wanted to speak on, which caught my eye, is Jim Paculus, who is the director, CEO, and chairman of the company. So Jim has over three decades of experience working with public and private entrepreneurial companies in a variety of emerging sectors. He is also the former founder and CEO of Chairman of Transcana Holdings, Inc., which through his initiative and execution acquired one of the largest vertically integrated cannabis-focused facilities in California. Jim has been in senior management positions for numerous publicly traded entities, including CEO and chairman of General Cannabis, Inc., which from 2010 to 2012 wholly owned Weed Maps. Jim oversaw the growth of General Cannabis from zero to over $16 million in annual revenue. Guys, that is absolutely fantastic in my opinion. The bottom line is Boosh has top-notch strategy. If you are a believer in plant-based foods, I suggest keeping an eye on this company. It's also hard to not love their management and prudent capitalization strategy. Plant-based foods are a rapidly growing and red-hot sector. Many different companies are sprouting up in the plant-based foods market now, and we are at risk of becoming oversaturated, but Boosh is standing out. The company has an excellent management team, high-quality products, a large distribution network, and an alliance with Beyond Meat, arguably the face of plant-based foods. The potential upside for Boosh is clear, with so many competitive edges, from its CEO and president to its established products, to its aggressive business strategy, to its unbelievably conservative capital structure, with only 16 million shares outstanding. Now do yourself a favor and add this company to your watch list. I will leave a link in the description if you want to learn more about this exciting company. With that said, be sure to do your own research prior to making any investment decisions. And this is not financial advice and just for education and entertainment only. 